everyone. My name is Maria Shandrova and I'm responsible for product development at Infinity. I can proudly say that our products are developed to be click native and that's valid not only for on-prem installations and implementations, but also on ClickSense SaaS. In this video, I will show you how to set up Infinity Forms for your ClickSense SaaS environment. The journey, that's not very long, don't worry, <laughs> starts on our demo portal, Infinity Universe, where you can try the trial of Infinity Forms SaaS. So please go to demo.myinfinity.com. Here in the header, there is a button Request Access. By clicking on it, you are redirected to our web page where you need to fill the form. And if you want to try Infinity Forms SaaS, please add a note in this form. After you fill the form, we will generate you access to our demo portal. By clicking on my account, you can log in. And now you have access to all demo applications available here. And many of them can be downloaded for free. But let's focus on form SaaS now. In the menu on the left side, you have less options than I have because I'm an administrator of this portal. But when you have Infinity Form SaaS active, you see this section here. By clicking on it, you are in a management console for your Infinity Forms SaaS. In the section information, you can find a link to download Infinity Forms Cloud extensions because the front-end extensions need to be a bit different than those for on-prem implementations. So please click on this link and download extensions. And as you can see here, for more instructions on setting up Infinity Forms in ClickSaaS environment, see documentation. So let's click on the documentation. Here is an overview you can go to, but when you will go to the next part of the documentation, you find here step-by-step -step guide how to do the initial setup. So you need to log into Infinity Demo Portal. Check. Download the Forms General Extension. Check. Log into your ClickSense Cloud environment and go to Administration section. OK, so here I am in my ClickSense Cloud. And let's go to Management Console. In the section Extension, I need to upload Forms SaaS extensions. I can do that by clicking on Add button. That was the step four. Step five is set up content security policy. That can be found in a different part of the administration section. So let's go to content security policy. And as you can see, I already have it here. But if it's your initial setup, you can add new by clicking Add button. And here is the screenshot how it uh, should be defined. Until there is any other way for user authentication supported from ClickSite, you need to enable generating API keys and your users need to have developer role assigned. Once there is any other way <laughs> released uh, by click, we will definitely integrate it into Infinity Forms SaaS. But for now, in section settings, you need to scroll down and enable API keys. And in the list of users, one needs to have the role developer. And you can edit the roles if you are allowed to do so. So this was the initial setup. And now it's time to go to application. This is an awesome pricing simulation demo app 
But what is missing here is the possibility to enter your own inputs. <laughs> so we need to duplicate the sheet, go to the custom object section, and here in Infinity Bundle, you can find front-end extensions. As you can see in their name, there is always suffix cloud. So if you don't have it here, you probably uploaded wrong extensions to your ClickSAS environment. So let me drag and drop this one, the object commenting for user collaboration. And as you can see, we need to set up a data storage. For this purpose, we need to come back to the demo portal, Infinity Universe. And here you enter the cloud domain. So in my case, it's infinity demo eu 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 <laughs> it's infinity demo dot eu dot click cloud dot com then you click update and the next step is that you can come here and generate new form instances form instance is the very same as you know from on-prem environments within your clicksense on-premise you have this forms admin application for managing data storages, these form instances. Within SAS environment, you have this management on our portal. And for trials, it's here in Infinity Universe. So I created a new comment object in my application. So I need to select the type comment object, pricing sim comments or something like that. Click on the button, create a new form. And as you can see here, I have my new form instance ID. It's automatically created on our server that's now connected to your ClickSense SaaS. So to use it within the application on your ClickSense SaaS, you need to copy and paste the form instance ID in the properties panel. Again, that's the very same approach you know from ClickSense on-prem. The only difference is that the form instance ID in this case is auto-generated and within the on-premise implementation, you can define the name. So copy the form instance ID, come back to the application and enter a unique identifier of a data storage for this Infinity Forms SAS object. And as we know, in forms object commenting, we can select specific objects that you can collaborate about. As you can see, also within ClickSAS environment, you have the full information about the user who did the change and the timestamp when any update has been done. That's it. You can have it up and running in a few minutes. So feel free to go and try by yourself. The next Tech Tuesday video will be here in two weeks. And until then, enjoy forms.